welcome to the Gaming Noisemakers. I'm Simon. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you're doing well and having a good one. I'm all right. I'm even better now. I'm at the bottom of a trench underwater in VR. <laughs> that was, uh, I didn't think I'd be saying that today. Um, I picked up Freediver Triton Down in the sale. Oh, bollocks. Drop the key. I did, mate. I did. It's on sale at the moment. It's got 50% off, and it really interested me, this sort of game. Um, so I thought, now or never, let's get it and see what it's about. Um, and so far, it's quite good. I'm only on the training bit. This is the training bit. And we've got to swim to the bottom. We've got to get a key. And now I think I've got to go into that tunnel there and use this key. Um, but yeah, this game is really impressive. It's quite good. It uses free movement and you actually do have to swim. You, c you can actually turn it off. You can turn it to clicking, but you do need moves um, if you want to swim like a diver. And it's very good. You've got um, some nice looking graphics. It does look very underwatery. And the way you sort of bob about, you do feel like you're floating in water. Look, there's the surface. Anyway, um, that's my O2. That's my uh, depth and mission goals. I think that's who I am. And yeah, so let's get on with it. It's quite good. I'm just gonna get a bit more O2. I've already drowned once. But it looks good. There's fish about in this. Um, there's sharks that chase you. And it's got a bit of a sort of uncharted vibe to it. There's a bit of an indie game. I've done a game through on this channel of it. It's a PS4 game called Sommer. And it is one of my favorite indie games. I had a real good laugh buying that, um, playing that. And this game reminded me, yay, look, there's the door. This game reminded me of it. Um, and now it's on sale. I thought, I haven't got a diving game. And you, uh... You just need to find one more. Oh, God, we need another one. Right, let's go. And I haven't got a swimming game. Um, I've got a torch here, though. And it does look good. You do feel like you're underwater. What's the... O2 saying we're okay for O2. So there's another one now then. Right, let's put that back. <laughs> You've got to be sort of fairly coordinated. I had to go into the options and sort of sort out the swimming. You got like you can change the speed you turn, um how smoothly you turn. Uh you can change it that to turn you just click the button. And I did try that, but I thought in for a penny, in for a pound. Um, if I'm gonna be swimming, oh, I've got to turn this way, get some O2. If I'm gonna be swimming about, I might as well be swimming about. There we go. So to swim, you use the moves and you pull the trigger. So when you got your pulling stroke, that's when you pull the trigger. Uh, you don't have to kick your feet. Well, I'm not. You can if you want. Be very immersive. Get someone chuck a bucket of water over you occasionally. Be incredibly immersive. So, <laughs> so we've got to find this other key. You can do breaststroke. You can do front crawl, but obviously not underwater. Um, you can do butterfly on the surface, which is quite good. Um, so you've got the basic ones there that it sort of lets you do. But at the moment, all I'm doing is just over the shoulder and under the shoulder. Let's get to this oxygen thing. Not thing, tank. Everything looks good, it does look good. It's a little blurry, but I think that's done on purpose to give the water substance, if you know what I mean. Because light will definitely travel different through water than it would. Oh, we got a current. I hope this is the way. Am I going to be able to swim against this current? Sort of. Come on, come on. Come on, you bastard. Do I need to go down there, I think? 
Right, let's hold on to this and pull our way in. Okay. And I think we're in. We're in. We're in, people. That is quite good. A bit of a challenge. It's quite an energetic game, this. If you're looking for, like, a quiet little cosy City Down game. I am playing City Down, but, yeah, it is. Hooray, there it is. Thank you, mate. Let's go back. And yeah, to uh, hold on to stuff, you just press the move button once, and it holds on to it, and then you press it. Oh, shit, look at my energy. Air. And then you press it again to let go. And I don't think having something in your hand affects how well you swim. See, this way, uh, I'm using a bit of a brush stroke. And I had to, Ray, send me out, Superman. Right, don't need that anymore, but we do need this. Uh, I dropped it, it's all right. I think I did as well, but I'm just trying not to drown at the moment, mate. Priorities, priorities. I think I'm too far away. Right, hold on with that. Grab with that, there we go, do it properly. The oxygen seems to last quite a long while. And they are abundant, I, but because this is training, I don't know if it's like, you know, these are just set up here because it is training or in the actual main game. I'm trying to think where the keys were. It's the big... Over here. Short is over here. Was that over here? Getting lost already. Oh, oh we got oxygen, so let's just have a little swim about. I've been in that one, that's where the other key was. So I'm thinking the black cave here. Let's do brush stroke. So yeah, you need a big space. I may go down and get some oxygen. Yeah, I jumped in, swam straight to the bottom, didn't realize there were oxygen tanks and drowned. <laughs> My first go, which wasn't good. So, drop the key. I did, mate, I did. Let's make sure this isn't helium. <laughs> right, pick that up and let's go. Let's go. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. The story, when you start the game, there's a little sort of intro and it's like a girl being asked questions by a police officer. And I think we are the girl. So there is crime afoot. Bad men are doing bad things, well, and women are doing bad things, so. Grab on there. Try grabbing the key heads and turning. Oh, look. Hooray! I want oxygen, not harmonic patterns, mate. Oh no. Oh no, we're doing all right. We're doing okay. But I am liking this. At the moment, it's only seven pound in the PSN store. And I think for that, it's a good buy. And especially if you're curious, now is the time to be buying it. Hooray, we got a way out. And if you want sort of a VR swimming game, I don't think there is one, apart from this. Do I go under? Let's go and get some air. Up, up, up. The water looks good. See if it's got any reflections on Sort of, sort of reflects. Or is that more the wall behind it? But I'm liking this game. And this is just the training level. Look at the rocks. Sounds very cavey as well. Right, let's go down. So I think, which one was it? 
because it's got that above it. I don't know what that is. I haven't found any treasure yet. there and movement around is very sort of intuitive you can swim Watch out. Red, are you okay? what the fuck There's was that looking at the trailers to this there's big old sharks in it that most probably chase you that's going to be awful in a water filled cave chased by a man eater Stuff of nightmares. <laughs> that is one of my big fears, open water. I remember when I was about 14, I think it was, and I went to, oh, we've got to go this way. Italy. And we went swimming in this massive, I can't, ah, right, hold on to the rock. So, went swimming in this massive lake, and the water was so deep. It was like so deep and I remember thinking it can't be that deep and I swam to the bottom or tried to and I swam deeper than I should have. I wasn't thinking right and I nearly drowned and that gave me my fear of water. So yeah, nearly dying being a big I am, look how deep I can go person, nearly gets you drowned surprisingly. I'm going to die here. <laughs> I do like. <sighs> Thank fuck for that. Right. I'm proper swimming now. Come across air now, mate. I'm dead. I can see the light. Oh no, don't, not now. Oh, it's right at the light. No! Reliving nightmares there. Right. Oh, I've got full oxygen now, so it's going to have to be wall walker, I think. Tracks very well. Um, I was going to try and turn, but. Let's not. Let's just keep going a rock face mode. Uh, can I get... So, yeah, we can go this way. Just got to be quick about it. I think we're through. We are! Hooray! I am really liking this game. It's got that swimming feeling. And it is a little bit of a workout, I'll give it that. I was thinking you could put sandbags on your wrists playing games like this and do a bit of exercise, which is something I may do. It'd definitely benefit me, I think, having the extra weight on my wrists as I'm swinging about. What's that? Is that a building? Oh, no, just a reef. <sighs> You actually, uh, yeah, when I break the surface, you go, <sighs> holding my breath a little bit. The light's good. I'm really liking this game. So, oh, it is a building, look. What is this? I do not know, mate. You get closer for those Front crawl. And then... Butterfly. It's working. <laughs> oh, what's this? I think I've got to go here. Oh, crazy things are happening. All three. Okay, Chief, consider it done. I had to tilt my camera a little bit down. Um, just because I'm reaching quite low. I'm sat down. I suppose you could play it stood up, but I don't see any benefit of that. Plus, if you lift your feet up like I do sometimes, <laughs> feels like you're flying. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we've got a trophy. Cool, look at that. What is that? Let's go and have a look. It's like a trippy stingray. Very smooth. Everything's very smooth looking. There's no sort of broken frame rate dips I'm noticing yet. Symbols with glyphs. Do I go through here? No. Right, symbols with glyphs. What symbols, what glyphs? Ah, right, oh, okay, I see. So it's a bit of a puzzle going on. So, this way. Can I, how do I move it? Ah, like that. Hey! <laughs> there we go. Need to hold on to the side. Right, let's go and get some air. It's a bit like swimming in Skyrim. I'd say that's what it feels like. It's better graphics than Skyrim. I think this is a PC game. A, a port. Because it feels like it. Uh, so we've got like a sun. There it is. I don't think I need to go up just yet. My oxygen's doing okay. And we got... What would you say that looks like? I don't know. A circle with bumps. There we go. We've done it! Stingray, oh stingray. Is that me? I think that's me. I look nice. The models are very good in this. And animation's very smooth. It does feel like a quality title. Definitely. I'm enjoying it. I'm glad I picked it up now. Oh, I've got another trophy. So, that was the training done. This is me, I think. Okay. And I'm... I just need to speak with my superiors. Wait, it's okay. Stay here. I'll so, was that who I was I talking to, I think? Dr. M. Lindstrom. She's really... Can I see her? It's got a good old interesting story, this has. Kapol... Laparun. Laparun. Maybe that. Incredible. We had to bring her on board, and when we did, we discovered she was emitting some kind of homing signal. Oh. Oh, we're back. Oh, so it's like a far cry moment. Ever got a torch? No. Okay. Oh, I think the water's filling up. Oh, panic. Uh, drowning, uh, that is awful, isn't it? Definitely nothing I'd like to be involved in. <laughs> it's a drowning simulator, this game. So where do I go now? Not this way. Okay. Ah, under there. I'm finding over the shoulder seems to be the easiest. Oh, oh, done it. We're off. Okay, what way? Can I get through here? I can. Oh, there's a guy there. I've got a trophy. All right, mate. Oh, oxygen low. I don't know what that's about. Um. Ah, there we go. Oh, there's dead bodies everywhere. Ah. Oh, this is looking mad in here. 